Hi everyone! Sorry, I know you've been wondering what have I been up to. Long story short, wedding and honeymoon plans got in the way. But do not worry, in this video, I wanted to share with you all our recent honeymoon trip, which was to Banff. Banff has been my bucket list national park to go to, and my gosh, these Canadian Rockies were divine. On our first full day in Banff, we were able to explore Moraine Lake and Lake Louise. It took a bit of planning to secure shuttle tickets for these two lakes. It is highly recommended to either catch the shuttle, take the Rome public transit, or book with a private tour company in order to see these two places. With that, I'll be going over how we obtained the shuttle ticket reservation. Just before 4 a.m. on April 13th, Eric and I were up online. The Canadian Parks Reservation System was to release about 40% of tickets for the whole summer season beginning at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It was pretty interesting. Closer to the release time, we were put into a queue. It was hard not to panic because we were in the thousands. But as soon as the time window opened, the wait times got shorter and eventually we were able to secure tickets. Best tip would be to make sure you already have set up a Parks Canada account before trying to be put in the queue. We stayed in Canmore which was about an hour drive to the Lake Louise Ski Lodge which is where we had to park our car and take the shuttle. Just driving along Trans Canada Highway 1 was so scenic. Alright, good morning from Lake Louise. Well, I guess the Lake Louise Ski Lodge. On the right where I've circled is Lake Louise area and we will actually be hiking to that hanging valley which is where Lake Agnes Tea House is. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We just arrived at Lake Moraine. We just got off the shuttle, but look at this. You can see that turquoise blue lake already. So we're gonna head up to Rock Pile, which is literally a rock pile. It's supposed to be a less crowded viewpoint of Lake Moraine and it says it's I think like five minutes one way so there's a trail there's trail signs so can't get lost after crossing the bridge greeted to a bunch of stairs <laughs> looks manicured though Blue, it's unreal. Okay, so we just arrived at Lake Louise. There's the um, chateau behind me. It's super expensive, by the way. We couldn't afford that. There's Eric. And then there's the lake, second lake of the day. So I think we're gonna be up here. I think that's a little beehive. In order to get to any of the beehives, there are some checkpoints we need to meet. First, Mirror Lake, and then Lake Agnes and the Tea House. Whew. It just starts off as steep. Switch back. Dude. Lake Agnes Trail is pretty moderate or difficult, not easy at all, it's just relentlessly steep. We're at Mirror Lake and it's just half mile before we reach the tea house and that is Big Beehive right there. The trail to Lake Agnes Tea House is a very popular hike. I saw people of all ages from a toddler walking up this to an elderly person. I can see people underestimating this moderate hike. Yay! 
Okay, we made it. It was pretty cool to see a cabin structure high up in the forest sitting at 7,003 feet next to a lake. This is Lake Agnes and this location is the common turnaround point. Those who want to explore further will either head up to the Big Beehive or Little Beehive. Looking out, you can see the Lake Louise Ski Lodge where the Canadian Park Shuttle picked us up. I was pretty surprised at how busy this trail was. I definitely did not consider this to be an easy hike. While soaking in the views and catching some wildlife, me and Eric decided to dine in at the tea house before heading to Little Beehive. The staff accepted credit card but they highly prefer Canadian or US cash. I don't know if they purposely strategized this location, but it was so chilly where we sat. Constant winds were whipping through, but the hot apple cider tea sure warmed us inside as we enjoyed the view of Big Beehive in front of us. As we made our way to the Little Beehive, on our right were views of Lake Louise and the Fairmont Chateau. The natural blue color looked way better from up here than below. And don't forget the Fairview Mountain and the big beehive that stood behind us. We came across this beautiful viewpoint which you could see three lakes from right to left, Lake Agnes, Mary Lake, and Lake Louise. About 2-3 minutes up was another angle of the chateau and the lake. I think that's the last climb to Little Beehive. We're back to the junction that will go to Lake Mirror. Honestly, at the top of Beehive, the view's not as great compared to where me and Eric stayed for like half an hour where you could see the three lakes. It's about maybe five minutes before you reach the actual little beehive so I think that's a better view spot so but yeah heading down it was cool to see some mules hiking up this trail I guess if you're not into hiking you can always ride a mule Yay, we made it! It felt longer going down coming up, but it was all down coming on. This thing was grueling. His knees are sore, it's actually, actually too big to know. <laughs> Old man status. <laughs> it was beautiful though. Ooh, it's decent. Right up here. Stairs at the end. Hey, it's bluer though. Yeah. Way bluer. Look at all that group of people. Look at that heavy crowd. <laughs> And that wrapped up our first full day here in Banff. We were so blessed to see Lake Moraine and that we were able to hike up to Lake Agnes Tiaus from Lake Louise. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha!